it's not sunny every day, so it's golf. Uh, we always get thrown on different lies and different slopes and different conditions on the golf course. We don't get to hit off a perfect lie like we do on the driving range. So today I'll take you guys out um, to show you some tips on how to hit from different lies and uh, different slopes. All right, so let's go. Hey guys, I'm here at TPC Kuala Lumpur this morning to do a few uh, videos and uh, I will call this my second home because I spend a lot of time playing and practicing here when I'm not coaching. So uh, I would say I know the golf course pretty well. The east and the west is really different. The east is a little bit shorter, but um, I find the layout really different on every single hole. That's what makes it a lot more challenging. Uh, we're really lucky to have good weather every day to play golf in Malaysia. So I'm on the east course at TPC Kuala Lumpur this morning and let's go. We're gonna hit a few shots here and there. It's Michelle here. Welcome back to Golf with Michelle. We always get thrown on different lies and different slopes on the golf course. Of course, we hope that we're always hitting off the perfect lie, but that's not the case, you know. We only get perfect lies on the range when we practice. But when we come out here, that's where the challenge starts. We're, we're always hitting off like different slopes, ball below our feet, ball above our feet, downhill, uphill lies, all right? So today, I would like to take you guys through some shots and I will give you some tips on how to hit from different slopes and I hope that it will help your game and also make it easier for you. All right, as you can see over here, the ball is below my feet, all right? This is one of the tougher shots for me. So there's a few checkpoints for you guys. Number one, the ball will tend to start pretty straight and then fade at the end, okay? Then number two, it's very important that we keep our balance and also adapt to the slope. So I'm gonna show you how to set up when you are in this situation. So first of all, we're gonna hold the club normal we're not gonna choke it down like when the ball is above our feet. We're just gonna hold it normal, all right? And I would like for you to stay low because the ball is below our feet. You need to stay a bit lower and balanced. So I would like for you to push your hip back and bend your knees a little bit more than normal, okay? So after you get to this position, I would like for you to make sure the ball position is just about a ball right of normal setup, okay? So for me, this is a seven iron. I'll put the ball just about one ball right of my normal setup and then Okay, when I get the ball position sorted out, I would like for you to move your weight just about 60% to the left side, all right? This is just to keep the body a little bit more balanced, all right? So 60% on the left, 40% on the right, all right? This will be a good setup position. When you're hitting the shot when the ball is below your feet, it's really important that you keep swinging through. Do not stop at any point. For this kind of shot, it's really important that you don't hit it hard. You just want to make sure that you hit it solid so you get a good ball fly and a certain distance that you want as well, okay? Okay, as we can see over here, we have a tree on the right side and then right in front of the pin, we have a bunker and I expect the shot to fade slightly to the right so it'll be, and it should end up somewhere in front of the green. I might not hit it as far, but if I have about a 20 yard shot from the green, I'll try to chip and putt and make par. If not, maybe a bogey. And again, bogey is not a bad score. Well, that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that shot. All right, now we're gonna talk about the ball above our feet, all right? So first of all, you're gonna feel like you're gonna hit like a baseball swing, okay? Because you're gonna be standing a little bit straighter up compared to your normal posture, okay? Because the ball is above our feet, and if you're standing on a normal posture, we're gonna hit it behind, all right? Okay, so if you have a flatter swing path, which is you're swinging a little bit more horizontal, the ball will tend to go left, so you need to aim a little bit more right. But how much right? It depends on the club, okay? So. When you have a more lofted club, which is a pitching wedge, I have a pitching wedge over here, the ball will tend to go a little bit more left. So imagine that you're standing over here with a more lofted club and you're gonna swing around your body. 
the more loft the club is definitely going to send the ball a little bit more left compared to the club with a lesser loft so you're going to aim a little bit more right but how much right it really depends on the club okay depends on the club which means depends on the loft all right i have a seven iron and a pitching wedge in my hand so with the pitching wedge if i'm going to swing horizontal the ball is just going to go a little bit more left compared to the seven iron okay more lofted more left less lofted it's going to keep the ball a little bit straighter okay we're going to get a little bit technical with the shot over here so first of all we're going to talk about the setup it's really important to set up correctly when you're hitting on an uneven line all right so first of all when the ball is above your feet as i mentioned you're going to swing it like the baseball swing so you want to choke down the club a little bit but it depends how severe the slope is the more severe the slope you're going to choke it down just a little bit more right so over here i'm going to choke down just about an inch ball position is just going to be somewhat in the middle it's fine all right so i'm going to make sure that i stand a little bit straighter so that i could kind of like adapt to the slope a little bit so set up a little bit straighter choke the club down the ball is going to go a little bit towards the left so i'll aim a little bit towards the right and just have to make sure that i trust it and swing through do not fall back so why people fall back and end up topping the ball is because that you try to hit it too hard when you try to hit it too hard you're going to fall back okay so you just have to make sure that keep your balance make sure you have enough club to hit the distance that you want aim a little bit more right choke down the club and just swing through the shot okay all right i have a seven iron in my hand i'm going to set up normal which is the ball just somewhat in the middle all right i'm going to stand a little bit taller Chuck the club down a little bit okay make sure i stay balanced and i'm just going to swing through with a good rhythm you create a slight draw over there all right now i'm going to use the pitching wedge i'm going to set up exactly what i did with the seven iron and let's check out the ball flight definitely created a lot more draw than the seven iron okay guys now i'm on a slope which is my right side is higher than my left so this is what we call a downhill lie all right so this is a tough one as well to be honest um there's a few things that i'd like to talk about first which is the the, the loft of the club so with the ball with the ball on the downhill lie your club will naturally get delofted so your seven iron will become like a six iron at impact okay so if you have to hit a seven iron distance i recommend you to use your eight one thing good about it is because it's more lofted and also it's shorter so it'll be easier to hit okay when the ball is on this kind of lie we usually see the ball coming off a little bit low and less spin so i'm going to talk a little bit about the setup when it comes to the setup i see a lot of people trying to scoop the ball up when they're on this kind of lie so they ended up hitting it behind because they will tend to set up with the left shoulder higher trying to get the ball up in the air and end up hitting it way behind like that okay so the number one thing is we have to make sure that we tilt our spine to the slope okay we just make sure that our spine and shoulder is set up parallel to the slope so when i get my shoulder tilted with the with the slope i like for you to move the ball position a little bit towards the right okay handle is going to be a little bit forward and weight is going to be a little bit forward again it's because this side your your left side is a bit lower and you're tilted like that your weight naturally is going to be a little bit more towards the left side okay so at this position you have to make sure that you swing with the slope do not try to scoop the ball in the air we're going to try to avoid to hit behind the ball all right just again when you are not on a flat lie, you just have to make sure that you hit it solid. Besides the ball coming off low and less spin, the ball will tend to go to the right side as well, okay? Ball position, slip it to the right side, tilt my spine with the slope, weight on the left side, and just make sure I swing smooth, and I'm gonna trust my setup. All right, guys, I'm on a slope where my left side is higher than my right, which is what we call an uphill lie. I would say this is a little bit more easier compared to the other lies. So there's a few tips or so that you guys have to be careful in order to hit it solid off this slope, okay? So on an uphill lie, the ball will tend to go a little bit left, so you want to aim down the right side a little bit, okay? 
When you're hitting off an uphill lie, the ball will tend to carry a little bit higher and land softer, so do not expect too much roll out of it. If you plan to hit an 8 iron off this lie, I would suggest you use a 7, it's because when you're hitting off an uphill slope, you're going to add loft to the club, all right? So you will get somewhat the distance that you want, all right? All right, I'm going to go off with a 7 iron over here. So first of all, we're going to talk about the setup. If I set up normally, which is my shoulder is parallel, I'm going to hit into the slope, which is what we do not want for this kind of shot, okay? So first of all, we have to make sure that we tilt our spine so that our shoulder is parallel with the slope, which is my left side is going to be higher than the right. Again, I like the ball position to be somewhat towards the right side a bit so you're gonna catch the ball first and then at this position I would like for you to keep your weight a little bit more towards the left side which is about 60% of the left 40% of the right so you'll be able to stay more balanced throughout the shot it's really important to stay balanced because you do not want to fall back some people fall back and ended up hitting it way behind which is what you do not want or some people will get scared and then they will bend their left elbow and ended up topping the shot okay you have to make sure you swing through and swing smooth because if not, you're gonna get stuck in the ground and that's what you do not want to do, right? So just make sure that you swing it through. Okay, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys got something out of the video. I suggest you guys play as much as you can so that you can gain more experience from hitting from different slopes so that no lies could scare you guys anymore. Share this video with some of your friends that you think that they're experiencing the same problem and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.